is good everybody welcome to an epic my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have a figure tutorial a wwe elite action figure tutorial for you guys a little bit of a fig hack a little bit of update you know we've done this in the past i think with seth rollins we updated our seth rollins figure i have done some other update figures kind of you know showing you some fig hacks is like what i like to call it uh i wanted to wait for action figure surgery but since that'll probably that could be tomorrow's video we'll have to see you know i'm still working on some stuff but i think that could be tomorrow's video is a big old action figure your surgery episode 50 so you guys can look forward to that one but today i wanted to go ahead and knock this out because i know a lot of people are going to want to see it it just got revealed to us last night if you guys did not know braun Strowman has cut his hair he is completely bald now as you guys have seen on smackdown on friday night smackdown the universal champion does not have any hair now and so that calls for good old dr whitekiss to get in the office and show you guys how you can make your elite braun Strowman completely bald okay so if you have the elite 44 braun Strowman, the one that's like the first Wyatt Family version. I don't think this is going to work, but I think if you have any other Elite Braun Strowman, we're talking 52, any of the top talents, the screaming ones, even the, the new Elite 76, those all work. So if you have the Elite 58, you got the top talents, the other top talents, the other top talents, or whatever other versions there are. With the ponytail head sculpt, you can completely do this. No, you know, it doesn't require a lot. It's actually a very simple procedure, and we're going to go through everything you're going to need for this action, and we're going to showcase how you do it and it's very 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 simple and I want to give a huge shout out to my man Beast Nation because he is the one that taught me how to do this and it's actually something that I use on my customs all the time it's actually a really beautiful thing and it actually will work on any other figure I've actually done a tutorial similar to this where I showed you how to make any WWE action figure bald so if you guys have seen that we're going to follow similar steps to that today but there is one more extra added step that we're going to have to get through but let's go ahead and dive into the things that you're going to need for this process guys so let's go ahead and get started obviously if you're doing this, you're going to need a Braun Strowman Elite. I believe this is the Elite 76. You guys know the shirtless one, but I did put the Top Talents uh, Get These Hands t-shirt on there for my updated Strowman right there, so he's not always shirtless. But uh, there is that. You're going to need an Elite Braun Strowman. Again, not the Elite 44. You're going to need an updated Strowman. And uh, so, so there you go. That's your base right there. You're going to want to have your Braun Strowman figure. Another thing that you're going to need is a Dremel. Now, this is the 7700 model right here. I think you can get this from Walmart. If you guys are watching this and you're like, damn, I want to do that today. Go to Walmart and get the 7700 right here. It comes with a bunch of different drill tips, Dremel tips, stuff like that. So you guys got your high setting and you got your low setting and uh, we're, we're going to put it in the off setting for now because that's what we want to do. But it comes with a battery, a charging pack, some different stuff. And I don't think we're going to use this tip. I think we're going to be using this tip right here which is a much better tip for uh, what we're going to be doing here today. So you're going to need a Dremel preferably the 7700. I, I think a 7500 would work as well but at least a 7500 or better. Next up, guys, you're going to need a cutting tool. Now, this requires either a trusty knife. Now, your cutting tool won't be near as, as deadly or as good as the trusty knife, you know? But actually, let me go ahead and fix this. It won't be as good as the trusty knife, but, you know, scissors, exacto knife. I think a regular steak knife would probably work. Just be careful, you know. Uh, definitely get parents' permission if you're under the age of 16, 18, something, somewhere in there. If you're a responsible human being. If you're not, get an adult. But we have the trusty knife. Yeah! Outside of the trusty knife, you're also going to need some acetone. Now, we're not talking about any acetone. You're going to need 100% pure acetone right here. So, if you're going to Walmart, you know what? If you, you could literally go to Walmart and buy everything you need right now to get, uh, you know, to update your Braun Strowman. So, you have your Dremel. You have your knife that you could buy. You could easily buy a pocket knife or scissors or something from Walmart. You have your Dremel that you need 100% acetone. This is 100% pure acetone, maximum strength, because, uh, you know, we're the big boys over here, all right? We're professionals. As you, got, as you see right here, here. Professional. So there you go. You're going to want this. This is going to come in handy after we cut the hair off. And then you're also going to need a towel. Now, I would use a towel. Not your mom's handy dandy notebook towels. I'm talking about some crappy towels. Some towels that, you know, are older. Some towels you don't mind getting a little messed up. That's some towels you want to use. Now, again, do not use the dish towels or the nice towels hanging in the bathroom for mom's display. You will probably get messed up. But I think that's all you need. You need a crappy towel, a Dremel, a knife, 100% pure acetone, and a Braun Strowman. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get started on our Braun, Stro uh, Braun Strowman updated. Let's get started on our updating Braun Strowman process. All right, guys, so getting into step number one, the first thing we're going to do is to cut this ponytail off. Now, uh, if I had scissors, it would probably be a lot better. Actually, you may be able to just pull this off. Hold up. Hold up just a second. 
Well, well, uh, never mind. You don't need a knife. You do not need a knife. I thought you needed a knife. You do not need a knife. I thought you would need a knife to cut this off, but it turns out you can just pull Braun Strowman's little Paul Heyman ponytail right off of his skull. So there you go. You don't need that. I guess that can go somewhere else. Maybe I could use that for another wrestler or something one day. Kind of looks like a, I don't know. I don't know what that looks like. But anyways, the next step is very simple. You're going to Dremel. So what we're going to do first is we are going to, we're going to remove this tip because we do not need this. We're going to remove this tip. So, uh, get familiar with your Dremel. Okay, well that wasn't supposed to happen. Alright, I finally got it. Jesus Christ, that Dremel head did not want to come out here, but we're going to take this one and we're going to slide this down into the hole, and it's not going in. Jesus Christ. Alright, there we go. We're going to tighten that up, make sure that's in place. All right, that should be good. All right, now that we've done that, now we're going to set our camera up so that we can get in a good position because I want you guys to see this. So basically what you're going to do now is you're going to Dremel away all of this hair using the Dremel. So here we go. Alright guys, after you Dremel it off, it should look very similar to this. It should look kind of rough, you know, beaten up and stuff. This is where the ponytail was. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to change once we add the acetone to it. You know, it could change. It may not look like that. It could be, you know, I'm hoping that it removes that brown color and it will look so weird, but you guys can see here he is bald, but we are not done. We still have one more step to get through that is going to change it and make it look ten times better than this. You guys can see, like, yeah, he's bald, and I guess if you left it like this, it wouldn't be the worst, but we're going to instantly improve it and make it look amazing million times better with the acetone, which I'm going to show you guys, but you just want to, you know, remove that hair, keep the good shape. I'm sorry I couldn't get everything on the camera, you know, when trying to, you know, get all the trimming off there. I wanted to make sure that I did a good job. I didn't nick his ear off, and I actually did nick his ear right there, but I think I can fix that, no problem, but I wanted to get some of it on camera, but I also wanted to not mess up the figure, so that was the, trying to find a happy medium there, but the next step that we're going to do is we are going to take our 100% acetone like I'm showing you right here, so we're going to take our 100% acetone, you're going to unscrew the cap. This is the way I, I say to do it. It's just the best way I've found. I also got little pieces of Braun Strowman skull all over my table right here. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape all that up. Terrible. But all right, guys, what you're going to do is you're going to take your top. You're going to unscrew it right here. Now, this is the method that I typically use. You're going to get your dingy towel again, not your, not your mom's nice towels. You're going to take a finger right here, and you're going to stick it right there. Tip it up so you get a little bit on the tip right here. And then you're going to go over the bald head sculpt of Strowman with the acetone tip right here and just kind of wipe it. You're going to wipe backwards. Wipe backwards and just kind of wipe over where you just dremeled. Some of that brown paint from where the ponytail should come off and get on the towel. So yeah, see, there is some brown still in there. And it's probably going to take a couple passes over. I may have to do it again because you will see, like, there's going to be some uneven spots and stuff like that. So I will probably have to do it twice or, you know, get it fixed up. Let's do one more wipe real quick so again stick your finger in it like this finger like this stick it in the hole tip it up so you get some on the tip right there and then you're going to go over where you just dremeled on the Braun Strowman and get all that good stuff right there. And I'm trying to get that little brown spot off of where the ponytail is. It may not happen. I may have to just, again, dremel it again. And that's looking like what I'm going to have to do. But you guys get the idea. You guys get the idea. Look how much better that looks already, bro. Like, holy crap. It's a it's a ball Braun Strowman. I mean, my God. Again, some inconsistencies in the head. There is, uh, you know, still a little brown spot. I'm going to get rid of that real quick for you guys. But I'll see you guys once I fix it a little bit. But you guys get the gist of what we're trying to do here. All right, guys, well, here is the Braun Strowman after multiple attempts and trying, you know, get it as best as I could. You know, it probably could still be a little bit better. You know, there's a little bit of inconsistencies in the head, which I probably will fix up a little bit. But for the sake of time and everything and not doing 100 Passovers right now, you guys can see the back of the head sculpt. It still has not gotten that brown spot out, but I think it's because there's, there, there's like a little deep peg that connects to the ponytail when they attach it to the head sculpt. And uh, that is to prevent it from just breaking off really easily. So I think if I keep dremeling that down and 
dribbling that down, trying to get that out of there. I am going to put a complete hole in the head sculpt, and that is definitely not what we want. So I am going to stop for now on the brown spot. Maybe I can figure out a way to get around that. Maybe paint it, maybe uh, sculpt over it or something like that, and then paint it. I'm not, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do about that, but for now, this is what we got for our updated Braun Strowman. It's kind of crazy, you know? I kind of dig the bald look for him. I think it works. I still thought that the old, you know, haircut that he had worked for him as well, so I don't really care. Out of the three, do you like the long hair Strowman, the mohawk, ponytail Strowman, or the bald Strowman? Let me know down in the comment section below. But for now, we have an updated Braun Strowman, and I'm sure it will be a little bit, you know, until we get a, you know, official Mattel updated Strowman. So if you guys want to follow this tutorial, update your Strowmans, tag me on Instagram. That would be pretty cool. I would think that'd be awesome. So definitely let me know if you tried this down in the comment section below or if you attempt it yourselves. I would love to see it. And hopefully I did a good job of explaining everything so you guys don't run into any troubles or details or anything like that. But if you are younger, you may want to ask for help on this. It's definitely not something that any, like, you definitely need to take your time with it. You know, don't fly through it. But I think at the end, you can come up with a nice little Braun Strowman there. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the fig hack slash tutorial, let me know what you guys are waiting on on Action Figure Surgery Episode 50. Are you guys hyped for it? Let me know down in the comment section below. I think it's going to be a good one. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.